Rosa Rosal did not confine herself to her craft as an artist of Philippine movie industry, where she was dubbed as the original femme fatale of Philippine cinema. Nung pumasok ako sa LVM, kilala ko siya. Na, na, nahuli ako sa kanila po na si, sila, nila, Lilia, gano'n na lang ha. So when I came in, she was already there. So siyempre, nagahanga ka, nakamalaka, gano'n. But uh, she was nice. Rosa Rosal started working in 1950 as a volunteer of the Red Cross at the height of her popularity as an acclaimed actress. During this time, voluntary blood donation was unpopular because of the misconception about its harmful effects. Siya talaga si Red Cross yan. Puro dugo yan, dugo, dugo. Eh kami, siyempre, we go out, mga boyfriends, mga gano'n. Ang pinag-uusapan namin gano'n, nakasimangot yan. Siya wala, dugo. Ang wish yung pagkukuha niya. This motivated her to commit herself to a lifelong mission of advocacy and voluntary blood donation. Her mission does not only intend to recruit voluntary, non-remunerated blood donors, but also to solicit funds for the continuous operations of the blood program. I think she just got a loving for doing charity. How can you stand it? Araw gabi, araw gabi, puro dugo, yung ganun. <laughs> sa, sa, I think she, it just grew on her that she had to help. You know, mahilig yan ganyan. Mas di nung araw, uh, may mga taong lalapit. Alam mo, Rose, di nung alam, nung araw tinulungan mo yung anak ko, yung ganun, ganun. And that makes her happy. Ganun, kaligayahan niya, ganun. Rosal's life is a shiny example of a complete Red Cross volunteer worker par excellence whose abiding concern and dedication for the less fortunate did not wither as years went by. Mami ko talaga, yan talaga ang wala ako, yung disiplina niya, tsaka yung dedication niya. Mami ko lagi niya sinasabi sa akin, alam mo Tony, whether may bayad ka or libre, kailangan dedication mo pareho. At yan talaga mami ko, wala akong masabi, whether isang milyon ang bayad sa kanya o walang o zero o talaga libre, ang dedication niya talaga sa tao, ganun talaga. At nakita ko yan, even as I was growing up, talaga nakita ko talaga ang ano ng mami ko, ang ang pagiging tutok niya talaga sa ginagawa niya, yung passion niya for the Red Cross and for helping people. Through the years, she has continuously worked for the improvement of the facilities and services of the National Blood Program. From the simple linen to the sophisticated equipment, Ms. Rosal exerted all efforts to ensure that all Filipino patients, especially the poor, get safe and quality blood supply from the Red Cross. To serving indigent Filipinos. Rosa Rosal, a gift to humanity.